Welcome to Commander Pop Culture, a place to gather magical information with some laughs, might I add. Oh, what's up, man? You're actually in the game with me. <laughs> hey, I built this, I built your Judith list in um, Arena a little while back. Nissa, the Resurgent Animus. I haven't played against that in the command zone before. In Javi, the Allfather. Well, Clinton, now I gotta be nice and quiet about what's in my hand, but it's looking pretty decent over here. Does that make you nervous? Be afraid! Um, yeah, I think that's part of the reason why. When you have multiple voices, talking at the same time, it becomes a nightmare from an editing perspective and the videos become a lot longer. The nice part about having one voice in one channel is you could cut out all the dead space much easier. Uh, yeah, prideful one, he's the player in the left. He's actually in the chat right now. So <laughs> I don't wanna say what's in my hand. Judith is really cool though. She's like an aristocrats commander and she gives a, a mini anthem, plus one, plus oh. Whenever something dies, he could shoot something for damage too. Uh, he could see my hand, but I trust him. So the player that's in the left, he is like one of my pillars of magic. As much as he would be reluctant to hear that, it's true. There's two people that I have a lot of respect for that taught me a lot about this game, and he is one of them. He taught me a lot about tempo. Our mutual friend Eric taught me a lot about deck construction. And I would say another person that I have a lot of high regard for and that helped me grow into the player I am today is probably Marcus. And for him in particular, it's basically how to be more socially adept. He was definitely a mentor for me in Magic. We haven't played a game together in so long. He was actually the reason why I got into playing MTGO. Mostly because uh, we used to be roommates together and play Magic all the time. Uh, we met when he was an x-ray tech, but he was looking at spoilers from the original Theros set, and I was wheeling a patient down to get a CT scan, and he was just sitting behind the glass looking at that, taking photos of my, of my patient. <laughs> And that's how we met. Did we just become best friends? Yup! Do you wanna go do karate in the garage? Yup! Honestly, I could care less about Mana Crypt for how often I see it on here. I expect it at this point. Do with this now. I don't like people drawing cards. And I have my, my buddy Anul Mog Token. I imagine the Nissa player has a fetch land to follow up with. It's to find an elf or an elemental, put it in his hand. It's really nice. All that and he still has a grip of seven cards in hand. Ooh, that's a fun card that I just drew. <laughs> Save that for later. Let's get the bird down. The ward ability is nice. It makes people two for one themselves. They have to discard a card if they want to blow it up. Attacking me for two. Well, it feels like a board wipe. I could block it and just save myself two damage, but it's not worth the risk if he had like some kind of uh, combat trick. I'm pretty sure it's a board wipe to not be playing combat tricks. <laughs> that wouldn't be his style. I wonder if my commander bites the dust here. You'll have to discard a card. Yep, that's all right. I got big plans. Oh, that's nice. Uh, the any joins up whenever a legendary creature or historic permit triggers, it triggers at an additional time. So like, if he attacks a Tajik and two other creatures, uh, Tajik will get plus 10, plus 10 instead of plus five. Pretty slick. I guess I'll show what's in my hand. Why not? Make people a little nervous. Dictate of Erebos. All right, that's a little, a little hard to play around. Yeah, I didn't really notice the trample part. <laughs> it's mostly the uh, the flying is what I cared about. Oh man, my uh, ascendant is very helpful to uh, what's going on on my buddy's field. <laughs> it's a 2-2 two -two blood artist. You don't see that every day. The 4-3 pot of Ulbog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll just let it hit me. Oh, he's gonna get the land to combine them, the Titania and what have you. That's fun. I've actually not seen anyone pull this off. Crop rotation's so strong. Instant speed, get whatever you want for one mana. Oh god. Overwhelming Stampede? He can kill one person if he wanted to or just hit us all for a bunch. That's pretty scary. <laughs> well, Clinton, you're gonna die. <laughs> The triggers will go on the stack, and uh, because he doesn't exist, the triggers will fall off. Goodbye, buddy. <laughs> I'll avenge you. Wow. You didn't really do much. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> you bit the bullet. I don't know why he was so pissed off with you. Everything you've done that game was reasonable, even with a, a mana crypt play. F that dude. Yeah, that's his exact words. 
All you did was two aristocrat pieces. The trolling? It's not enough to kill somebody, but you have to do it without grace. <laughs> I can be pretty ungraceful when it comes to winning too, though. It's something I've been working on. Sometimes I forget, sometimes I don't. Depends on how big of a slog the game was, and then I'll get pretty excited about the, the W. Damn. All right. It was very reasonable. You even delayed playing the Mana Crypt, which you didn't have to do. You're Mr. Nice Guy? <laughs> yes! It's more so for these guys, and they're still upset about it. Uh, I'm definitely gonna go for Star Compass and Caltrips. I actually should probably take care of this Elemental Bond, too. Just to deny the guy that's got a full grip. The player on the left may have board wiped my stuff, but paved the way for this guy on the right. You can't have too much removal in there, being in mono green. It's like one of the few things that green sucks at is removing stuff. That might have delayed the game enough for him to just beat us to death now. But in that scenario, he couldn't play the game with what I was doing in my board, so... It was kind of that scenario again where the weakest player still has the power to determine the winner. That happened like two weeks ago. Damned if he did, damned if he didn't. He couldn't have known what was in my hand or in the player in the right's hand. I mean, having a full grip of nine cards would have been telling enough that maybe you shouldn't do that. Out of the interest of just playing stuff from your hand, uh, I know it's like a tough thing to resist. It's hard to say. I'm trying to put myself in his shoes and what I would have done if I had the board wipe. Make the right player sack his elemental bond. He's almost seen half his deck at this point anyways. Like Caltrops, the guy that said F that player, has done way more, I guess, broken things than what my buddy did <laughs> this game. Pretty sure I'm gonna die next year. I'm one land away from recasting Maha and locking him out from attacking me. It's probably enough to want to get rid of me. What's also weird is this player on the left said that uh, he wanted to play his creatures and then he played none. <laughs> so if you were wanting to just play creatures, why didn't you? It makes me lead to believe that he didn't have creatures in hand. He was just pulling the trigger now just to pull the trigger. No, he's hitting me. Yeah, now he's saying I should have wrath. <laughs> Yeah, I bet you should have. What a funny dude. Yeah, I had the green player under my thumb. He has nothing in his hand. <laughs> wow.